careful, careful, slow down. Now be careful. There's a pole down here. Watch out for the pole. Good. Now don't move while I tape your sister. Careful, careful, honey. Watch out. Good, you didn't hit the pole. Oh, the heck with driver training. I don't need driving lessons. Watch this. I hang a left, I come to a complete stop, and I leap from the vehicle. I leap from the vehicle. And I leap from the vehicle. Out of my way, here I come. I'm floored in overdrive. I'm in fifth gear in a car with one. Oh, you ran into your dad and knocked him over. I might have really hurt myself. But no harm done. I know you didn't mean to do it. I bet you're just itching to apologize. Go ahead, son. Say you're sorry. <laughs> and this is how the throttle works. You won't have any use for this for a long time. Just makes you go faster. Go faster? Great. I'm off to the Hells Angels weekend. Not without me, you're not. I thought it was Ooh. next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom and Dad, I love the new car you bought for me, but it makes a funny sound every now and then. There, you hear it? It sounds like my little brother, and it seems to be coming from right underneath. I think I need a tune up. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Hey, kid, knock it off. It's late, and I gotta get up early tomorrow. Should never have rented this place. Sure, it's big enough in this room to expand, but the noise, wow! My ears are still ringing from last night's chopsticks lollapalooza. I love tuning the piano. That note's okay. Let me see, are there 88 or 188 keys to a piano? My fertile mind doesn't stop. I'll just keep tuning until I run out. <laughs> Take a look at this video I found, Inspector. This might explain those strange fingerprints we found on the piano. Nancy is upset because her mom said she'd tell her teacher she hadn't been practicing. Take that, and that, and that. I know I'm gonna win, and it's not just from training. Yeah, I won, because I'm wearing my lucky reddish orange something tank top. No one will ever beat me. I'm invincible, do you hear me? Invincible. I won, because I'm wearing my lucky white tank top. What you doing, son? I'm picking up leaves and putting them in this here sack. You should use a rake, son. I don't know where the rake is. Oh, I found the rake, Dad. It's about next to this bump on my head. I have a lot more confidence now that I've been taking these riding lessons. They say if you fall off a horse, you should get right back on again. <laughs> oh, no, I think I'll just go get a corn dog. This is just a start, babe. Today we're under a bridge on a cheap red carpet, but tomorrow we'll be playing shopping malls. I just need one lucky break. Morgan! There were many reasons why Merle and Lester weren't welcomed at Biff's Billiard Parlor. This was just one of them. Oh, baby, this is so romantic. How about a kiss, baby? Nobody knows we're here, just you and I. Come on, honey, your love machine's all ready to go. What seems to be the problem? Tree, I'm on fire. I knew this was dangerous. Hey, these things happen, honey. Trust me, no one but the fire marshal knows we're here. Just pluck her up, baby. Here comes lover boy. I'm telling you, that could land on your head. Oh, wow, baby. This is the worst road I've ever been on. This doesn't look like France. Oh, geez, this is terrific. Be all right. Oh, couldn't Thank be better, you. Vincent, as soon as I get this tree branch out of my lung. You all right? Dude, go, go, go. I'm going to buy a car. With, if those dogs had piped down, canine capers. I'm finally back from the vets. Hey. And do I have a lot of catching up to do? The yard looks different. You guys put up a railing? Guess you did. You might have told me about it, but guess you were busy. Like you'll be busy cleaning up the surprise I left you in the living room. Must be 140 out here. When did we move to the sun? 
It's a hot day. You got that one right. What are you, a Rhodes Scholar? Wake me in November. Ah, oh, ice me, baby. Huh, what? What's for dinner, boss? I'm starving. Tough nuggets, Bowser. I'm feeding the hogs right now. Oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. These are tough nuggies. Now I'm the life of the party. I put a lampshade over my head and I do an impression of a vacuum cleaner. Oh, I bet I'm cracking everybody up. Right, everybody? Hello, anybody? It's so lonely in here. Snacks are good. At least I hope they're snacks. They could be tough nuggies. How cold is it? Tell mommy how cold it is. How cold is it? You warming up now? Should we make a fire? This is just one of the many ways to muck up your honeymoon. Jim, I'm so happy that you've got to know one another, and we're honored to come to this lovely, uh, shall we, is it? Wedding. Wedding. And I will never forget this till my eyes are closed forever. I love you both. God bless you always. Auntie Rose. Okay, now, here we go. One, two... And the garter goes to the Phantom of the Office. You know what to do here. One, two, three. She was so excited to marry a vacuum cleaner salesman, she had herself carpeted. The bitter divorce settlement finally ended with the last piece of folding furniture. Hey, Ma, we called us a fish. Oh, it's a much bigger occasion than that, son. You should say something important, such as, this is one small step for this fish, but one giant step for me. Oh, you okay, James? I'm fine. Come on, Freddy, jump into the old watering hole. Now, Jerry, it's your turn, and try to miss the alligator. Alligator? I thought this was just a nice summer camp. No one said anything about no alligators. I think I'll stay in the tree. There's bees in the tree. Bees in the tree? I'm falling. Move over, alligator! Oh, good, I stunned him. Hey, Wilbur Jr., what's that thing you're waving? Is it to keep the flies away? No, it's supposed to make you move. Why did you say so? <laughs> Got enough movement for you? I think I'll go get a corn dog. This is Brad Clay, your traffic guy in the sky, reporting from nowhere, Indiana. Not much traffic, just a parked truck. Doesn't seem to be moving. No, the truck's not moving. And neither am I. Brad Clay on the ground. Jennifer comes running up to each of us. We were in different sections. And she comes running up to each of us and she says, Swing's going to break! Oh my God. <laughs> I tried running up to each of them to tell them. How would you like to be a really annoying announcer? Well, you can learn right here at the School for Annoying Announcing. You'll learn such phrases as these. It's smooth and creamy. Or how about this one? How much would you pay? And if you're good enough, you can move on to do the most annoying announcing ever spoken. It's high flying, blood spurting, gut munching action, seven stories of fired up by the devil himself. In the mud! It's action, 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 action! Coming soon! 
That's right, the school for annoying announcing. Sign up for a course today.